This is the incredible 11 year old Sky Brown, the world's youngest professional skateboarder who taught herself how to skate watching her dad and YouTube videos. How Whoa. incredible. Well, Sky is set to be Britain's youngest ever summer Olympian when she represents Team GB at next year's Games in Tokyo. Just watch her go. Uh, Sky's having a little bit too much fun over there. Sky, come and join us over here. Come and join us on this. <laughs> I think that might that be amazing. the coolest entrance we've had <laughs> to any of our interviewees. Uh, it's lovely to meet you. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. How about you? Yeah, really well. It's uh, lovely to see you. We should just point out from a safety point of view, because in case people are wondering why you're not wearing the helmet and the pads yeah. and everything, the World Skateboarding Federation advised you that you didn't need to wear equipment on our little ramp here, didn't they? Yeah, but you should definitely, if you're on bigger stuff, you should probably wear some pads. Good advice. <laughs> so how did it all start for you then? You you loved, you loved wanted to have a go, your dad had a skateboard and yeah. you just started it. What age did you start? Well, I started probably around three or two. And <laughs> what about the time you started little. walking then? <laughs> right, yeah. on a skateboard. And yeah, he built a backyard mini ramp, which is kind of like that, maybe a little bigger. Um, and yeah, I don't know, it was my favourite toy. It would, yeah, I yeah. can imagine it would if your dad had built one of those. Yeah. Uh, and, and so it's gone from there. I mean, you're, you're skating from the age of two, three, and then slowly but surely you've got better and better and better. Yeah. And now you're 11, Sky. <laughs> but you're actually professional as well. This is, this is at 11, it's already a job, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of more of like a fun thing for me. Like, skateboarding is just a playground for me. It is, it looks so like it as well. great that you're getting <laughs> to do something that you love so much. And actually, yeah. you signed your first professional deal Age seven, didn't yes. you? I mean, has it ever sort of... Do you, do you kind of feel how big a deal it is? Or for you, is it just, wow, I'm doing what I love, I'm, I'm having a great time? Well, yeah, it's just a fun thing for me. Yeah, I don't feel, like, any pressure or anything. Yeah, I just want to ski and have fun. Just like, what do your mates at school make of it? Well, um, I don't really know. I think they think it's cool yeah. or... Um, yeah, I really... Some of them know how to skate. Have you started trying to get some of your other friends into skating as well? Did you do skate classes for them? Well, I don't know. They, my friends in Japan didn't really want to skate. Like, okay. I go to regular school in Japan and I don't know. I feel like they kind of want to be like, I don't know. They just want to be like more of like a, I don't know, I think they were a little scared to skate. Right, yeah. they want to hurt themselves. But I love the fact that you want to inspire girls, don't you, in particular, yeah. to kind of do things that maybe are seen as boys' sports or to give things a go. Yeah, because I feel like girl, but the boys are having way too much fun, so <laughs> why don't the girls can have fun? It's like, I don't know. Yeah, I want the girls to know that you can do anything that boys can do. It doesn't matter about your age, your size, like, you can do anything. Good for you. You're certainly proving <laughs> that. And you've qualified for the Olympics, for the British Olympic team. Yeah. We should explain, uh, you, you've spent some time living in Japan, you're based yeah. in LA at the moment, aren't you? But you qualify uh, to be part of our British team and we are very, very proud to have you on the team. <laughs> How does it feel knowing that you're going to be going to the Olympics? It's going to be really cool. I mean, I'm super excited just to skate with my friends. And, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I get to bring, like, people from England and people from America to show what Japan actually is. And you will be the youngest ever summer Olympian yeah. for the UK. You know, what, how are you feeling now at this stage? Because, obviously, you've got a bit of training time, a bit of preparation time. Is it going to be full on, you know, full steam ahead, all guns blazing from now until then? Well, I... Well, yeah, I'm... I want to try some new tricks. I want to. There's still a couple of things I haven't done, or a lot of things I haven't done. So what? You know? What sort of things haven't you done? Because it looks like you're pretty good already. <laughs> well, like a 540. But well, a well, I've done a 540. Is it, but is it I a backside try, 540. That yeah, you I want to try to learn a backside 540. And is I that is that a frontside 540 yeah, we just watched there? Right there. Um, but, and I also want to do a kickflip indie. I was going to do it in the last contest in Rio, but a I didn't. Kick flip. Indie. Kick flip indie. Oh, kick flip indie. So, hold on, Matt. Can we watch that again, Stuart? So, the first trick, I think, is the, the front, front side, side 540. Five and then this is followed by... Is this a kick flip you do up this? Yeah, this is a kick flip. A kick flip indie is where you... Do, it's a little different. Like, you come in a little sideways, you grab it, 
then you put your foot back on it. Wow, so you flip the board, you grab it, you put your foot back on it and you do it without falling over. <laughs> do you ever worry about hurting yourself? Because I look at it there yes. and I would be absolutely terrified. I don't know how your parents feel when they're watching you. Well, I don't know. I think falling is kind of part of skateboarding. I kind of like it, like, I don't know. Yeah. At your age, you're still bouncing as well. <laughs> when you get to our age, you break. At your age, you're still bouncing. Which is why you're banned from having a go. Yeah, I, I'd love <laughs> as to much as you would love Health to. Health and safety. I reckon Sky would be a pretty good teacher <laughs> as well. Um, your mum's Japanese, your dad's British. Was yes. there any fight in the family as to whether you'd represent Japan over Britain? No, like, we weren't going to do the Olympics. Because my weren't? parents said there was too much pressure. OK. But Team GB said that there was no pressure, just get out there and have fun and... And I was like, Daddy, can I do it, please? And he was like, all right. And How oh, could you deny that. a daughter that asked Please, can that I do the Olympics? Daddy, please, can I do that? <laughs> I dream of my boy saying something like that. <laughs> I dream of my boy saying, Daddy, can I go outside oh. rather than play computer games? <laughs> uh, Sky, you're an absolute inspiration. It's just so lovely to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, best of luck with everything. We'll be keeping everything crossed. I know you've got a couple of gigs while you're here. You're doing Sports Personality of the Year going up to Scotland yeah. as well. Yeah. So you're going to meet a lot of incredible sportsmen and women up there, which will be really Thank inspiring you. and I'm sure you're going to inspire them. We will be watched with bated breath. We will indeed. Next year. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks for coming you. to see us. Thrilled that you came in this morning. <laughs>